everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at doing some perspective drawing. Perspective drawing is where we try and make our pictures look a little bit three-dimensional and we have what we call a perspective point or a vanishing point which is the part of the page where um, our eyes are directed to or a focal point is another word to use. All right, so to begin I'm going to draw a line across the center of my page. Now remember you can pause this at any time you need to so that you can keep up and follow along. All right, I'm going to do my first diagonal line and I'm going to do it so that my focal point or the point where the lines will cross over is not quite in the center of the page. So um, let's have a go at going down there. Just slide my ruler. There we go. Okay, I'll do another diagonal. Do the same again. Making sure I now that I've made that focal point, I need to make sure that every line goes through it. Okay, and I'll cut this one into two, so I'll go with one there and another one here. So I've made 10 segments around my focal point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can have a go at seeing what the effect might look like if there's more or less. Um, but if you're following along with me today, let's try and make sure we've all got 10. Okay, what I'm going to do next is get my ruler again. And from that center point, so I'm going to just put that on 10 on my ruler to make it easy. <laughs> I'm going to just mark really lightly where two centimeters is all the way along. And this is just so that when I do the next part, it's a little bit more evenly spaced. And just heading in the other direction, all the even numbers. And we'll go along this line here, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. And I'll just go along here. So obviously work your way around. Always make sure that they're coming from the middle so that your focal point is like your zero. And we head around marking two centimeters out as far as you can go okay so i'm just going to do those ones for the moment but this would be a good spot to pause and continue all the way around all right from there what we're going to do is connect up these dots but we're not going to use straight lines we're going to use a bit of a curved line to do it so the first line i'm going to do i'm going to curve uh, back this way, so away from the focal point, like that. And just keep going until I have done all of them. All right, where you get to a point where you've got more dots on one side than the other, you just try and use your eye to roughly work out where it might follow. All right, okay, and then on each alternate line, so every second, well not line, every second segment, I'm going to make the curves go the other way. So this time my curve is going to aim towards the focal point. So I'm going to go this way this time and I'll complete all of those. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. Okay, and so these ones would also go with the curve heading towards that focal point. Squeaky texter. Nope. <laughs> and you can see it gets a bit tricky when your segments are 
quite wide. So it might be best to try and keep them as narrow as you can. All right, I would then continue the same all the way around. So this would be a good spot to pause so that you can continue with yours. But here's one I have finished earlier. Okay, so as you can see, every second segment curves the opposite way. Okay, what hopefully you can see with your eyes a little bit is that these ones that curve where the curve is heading towards the focal point actually feel as if they're coming out towards the page, like they're a bit rounded this way. And the other ones feel as if they're sinking in and under the page. So to help create this effect, we use some pencils. Now, pencils are the best um, tool, medium to use. You could use textures, you could use crayons, but I find with pencils, you can vary the shading to help give you the effect of the three-dimensional look. So I'm going to start with my purple. Now I'm actually going to use cool colours on every second one and some warm colours on the other because I think that will also add to the effect to make it contrast between the two that are poking or feeling like they're popping out and feeling like they're sinking in. All right, so because I'm wanting these ones to feel as if they're popping out, I'm going to aim to shade the middle lightly and the edges of each segment a little bit darker. So I'll show you how I mean with that. So in this triangle here, I'm going to do this part on the edges a little darker and then fill in the middle a little bit lighter, which you can't tell too much there. Um, I'm going to use every second one in my purple color. You could do a pattern of three or four if you like but I would suggest if you want the same effect that I've done in this video you try not to use too many colors okay so I've done the edges quite dark shaded in the middle and then I'll just try and blend it a little bit with the pencil by pressing a little bit sort of in between to give that effect where it's lighter in the middle and darker towards the edges I'll just show you one more, so nice and pressing hard at the edges. All right, filling it in lightly. And then blending a little bit, pressing somewhere in between, a bit of a medium press. Okay. Um, so on this one, I'll just also do I'm going to use a blue, so another cool colour. So your cool colours can be your, some purples, blues, greens. Um, and your warm colours are like your reds and your yellows and um, oranges. So basically, nice cool colours that like remind you of water. And those warm colours are the ones that kind of remind you of fire. Okay, nice and lightly in between. And then blend it by just pressing a little bit in between. Okay, now as you can see, the further and further we go back, uh, the bigger that light part in the middle gets. And, well, I guess also the bigger that the... Uh, darker bit gets as well because the whole shape gets bigger. All right, just we'll leave that much there for now and just show you on the other one where we want it to be feeling like it's curving down into the page. Then we're going to use um, our colors to color dark in, in the middle. So I'm just going to start with this one. So you're pressing harder down the center this time and then just coloring lightly towards the edges. Same again here, just dark. Now that darker bit is getting bigger and wider as we go back. Light on the edges and a bit of a blend in between. OK, 
Okay, and I'll just quickly do, I'm using orange here as well, so nice and dark down the middle. And then light towards the edges. You see it is important to try and get the pencil lines to flow the same way. So I started then colouring that way, but I noticed that it didn't look quite as, as effective. So try and keep, when you're going backwards and forwards with the pencil, try and keep that going in the same direction as the curve that you're working with there. Just to make it also add to that 3D effect. So nice and light and a bit of blending. So blend. Alright, so you can see already that's starting to develop and rather than sitting me watch, sitting there and watching me colour in for the next 10-15 minutes, I'll show you the one that I did last night. So that is how it could turn out at the end. Um, of course you can choose different colours, um, even uh, using just a black pencil. Um, maybe on every second one, but still using that same effect would, would definitely make it look three-dimensional as well. Okay, so I hope you have fun having a go at this perspective drawing. And hopefully yours turns out looking a little bit three-dimensional as well. Good luck. See you next time.